Right guys, we are carrying on Yamaha Aerox short bites, changing the stator coil. Um, if you look at my videos, exhaust already off and the water pump off. I don't know this one whether you could have got away with actually taking these off. So if you had to change the stator coil, you may be able to just undo this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, two covers at the front and the cover would have come off. The stator coil itself would be on there then. Um, I used a 17mm and a large 17mm on this side and I leave it one side and leave the other and the nut came lovely off and in here is lovely and clean unlike you get on the speed fights these are normally really bad and filthy just wipe this out of a rag good as gold and then you get your stator coil remember though the inside is your electric bike the outside is your timing so this is timing this is electrics top tip now you know what they are however here we go to the problem with eBay, um, and I've gone through this in the speed fights where there's AC and LC, water cooled, liquid cooled, the different ones. I've just noticed, here's a stator coil, stator coil, two plates there, two plates there. Oh by the way, to get this off, there is a stator coil removal tool, they don't seem to sell one on eBay, but it isn't that bad. You can get a screwdriver in here, and you can just literally wiggle, 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 and it comes off. That was really handy. Remember to take the bolt off first though, and that just came off. Here's the problem. If you watch my videos, you'd notice that I said the wiring is a bit crap. This may be why his bike wasn't charging. Remember these lump of wires here? But look, this is eBay. Look, two wires, two sort of wires here, and then you've got this mess here. Well, well look, three wires, blue and red. Hello, not even the colours match. Do you know? It's obviously a different one. I'm assuming it's immobilized and non-immobilized, which means that this green wire that this one hasn't got, because it's got uh, white, yellow, these are red, not even the same colors, but it's got a green. It's simple to see that it hasn't got a green here, so you can't wire it in. Now, you know, it's a bit scary to think, well, I could use the black and red, and that's black and red, so maybe that went there, and a blue would go to the other one with all this tape on it. Um, but they've got an extra green wire. Don't put it in, it will not work. Simple, okay? Um, we'll have to get a manual. I may actually go inside now and see whether you can buy the four or five wire one, and I bet you can. But how do you know when you're buying these damn things? You don't want to take it off first, do you? Back to my first video. Come on, think about it. Take the panels off. Now, if you took the panels off and realized that was your static coil connections, may have saved you some money. I'm reluctant to fit that one now, because I don't know. What I will do though, is I'll clean up all the connections and I'll bolt test it and see if it's coming off. Um, it may be a case of not even fitting this one. Nice and simple though guys. Yamaha Aerox, light bites, simple videos, hopefully to help you. Sorry if I go a bit fast. Maybe watch it two or three times, you'll get the picture. So, bolt, 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 other two front bolts, off comes the water cover. That's in the other video. You may be able to just lean that down, not drain all the water out. The water doesn't go through, by the way, electrics and all. And then the screwdrivers, not many tools to get off a static coil, really. Allen key, Allen key. And this with the whole plate would have come off. Right, check out the other videos, guys. Please like and subscribe. What's next? Well, have to wait and see, wouldn't you?